North Carolina's position as a battleground state was in the spotlight today as Vice President Kamala Harris paid a visit to Greenville to try and win voters over before early voting begins. Courtney Bunting was at the rally and has more on Harris's big talking points from this afternoon. It is good to be at ECU. Cheers filled Minji's Coliseum on ECU's campus Sunday afternoon as Vice President Kamala Harris held a rally to try to win voters over before the start of early voting in North Carolina on Thursday. She touched on efforts to support funding for recovery after Tropical Storm Helene, an issue that's top of mind for voters in the Tar Heel State. We will be with you every step of the way as you recover. Harris emphasized how, if elected president, she would stand up for the working class by fighting price gouging and addressing housing challenges. Under my economic plan, we will bring down the cost of housing and help first time home buyers with a $25,000 down payment assistance. Reproductive rights also taking center stage. Harris highlighting what reality is like for many women in the U.S. More than one in three women in America lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban, including right here in North Carolina. Many of these bans have no exceptions even for rape and incest. Before the rally, the vice president attended church at Koinonia Christian Center, speaking to the congregation there before heading to ECU. She spoke to a room filled with supporters, some happy to see a candidate they say represents them. It is very empowering to see that, you know, African American and also as a woman. I really should be studying for midterms right now, but like this feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity for myself to just come out here and show my support for someone that I've been following for a long time. The race for the White House with no clear front runner weeks out from Election Day. It's going to be a tight race yes. until the very end. In Greenville, Courtney Bunting, WITN News. And Trump narrowly won over North Carolina in 2016. He held a rally in Greenville while campaigning for his second term in October 2020 and won the state by a narrow margin for that election as well.